The point of this video is to explain this concept of uh, religious imperialism or Egyptian imperialism or Egyptianism or um, uh, you know Jewish uh, supremacy or uh, religious uh, supremacy or dead supremacy or uh, underworld supremacy or duat supremacy. <clears throat> So the thinking here is that we start with the, the duality, which is um, as above, so below, as below, so above, uh, uh, with the uh, with the following understanding: uh, below is uh, the world of faith, and above is uh, faithlessness. And uh, a religion is a way to. Um, transit from above to below and from below to above. So from above to below is the uh, faith in the religion. So you, what you do is the creation of a religion is a is basically a uh, a subdivision or the creation of a cell um, within the underworld. We so so we divide reality into the above and below. So you have faith in a religion. And that is uh, being uh, below. And when you're below, you are you are under the um, you have faith in a religion. Okay. Now above, there's is hermetic alchemy. There is no uh, there is no uh, religion. There is a concept of, in a sense. Uh, the religious man who is the man with the behavior with the defined behavior and uh, this uh, this defined behavior um, is uh, uh, the religion. So we define the religion and furthermore the understanding is that the nature of this definition of behavior is such uh, that there is that the religious man, the dead man, part of his behavior, one aspect of this behavior is the identification, is the self-identification or just identification. So religious self-identification, religious identification. And the thinking here is that this is like, uh, I guess, asking, you know, the flag that a ship flies or, um, I guess, the nationality of a Highlight, I guess. Um, I think that's that's what you would do. Uh, so uh, the thinking here is uh, that this religious identification. Now, if we now here's. Moreover, if we if we say everyone is dead, if we say humanity to be human is to be dead, uh, and basically, and to be human means to have been processed by the myth of Gilgamesh, essentially. So basically, to be human means to have um, uh, received uh, the free services of a prostitute, um, uh, who basically then expects you to uh, earn. Uh, money, uh, where the money stands, is what was originally used um, to drive behavior before uh, religion. So we say that money precedes religion, um, and the behavioral concept of religion is derived from the behavioral concept of 
earning money to pay the prostitute who offered her services for free initially before you had a concept of money and who then refused uh, repeated requests uh, for the services um, uh, unless uh, payment was made. Uh, uh, or at least proof of ability to make payment was provided upfront with the expectation that payment would be forthcoming uh, after the uh, 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 the uh, the uh, the service had been uh, rendered. So at any rate, uh, the, the thinking here is that religion, therefore, uh, comes from casting Gilgamesh on beasts, and that this is the process that Gilgamesh is the process of turning a, a beast into a man, so that man comes from beasts. Any beast will do. Uh, any beast capable of. <coughs> Any beast capable of uh, earning the earning uh, money, earning a living. So, uh, and that and that so that Gilgamesh, this is how, and so that Gilgamesh is you know this introduction to prostitution, introduction to civilization. So this is the so this is the first layer of civilization is prostitution. And, uh, and which is also the layer of converting the beast into the man and establishing the boundary between the man and the beast. Each religion is a rewriting of Gilgamesh. So it is a, um, it is something, I'm not sure what, but some text, we will call it the text. So a religion is a text plus um, a tag attached, which says, you know, um, uh, Gilgamesh version, you know, blank, where blank is the name of the religion. And then, you know, at some point, you know, there is this, you know, provision that, uh, you know, having been civilized, one of the aspects of being civilized and the, and the, uh, the prostitution uh, and work uh, concept is that in order to be considered a worker, uh, this John must now uh, claim to be uh, a follower of this religion. And whatever that, whatever that, that was, it goes in that blank, that, that, that is an aspect of this behavior. And this is sort of this, uh, you know, so, so the identification then is that this word or phrase that is uttered, I am blah, is then used as an index, those, you just collect those, and that is the index, the identification index, I am blah, and then, and then so for each blah, you just look up and you say, okay, well, who said, I, what sort of a person says I am blah? Uh, and that's that's the identification. So this is the identification index. Uh, and this is so this is technically humanity, because humanity is therefore the separation of of beast from man, an aspect of man. What makes you a man is you say, I am something, I am blah, whatever blah is. And so each new religion is is a blah. So there's a one to one correspondence between the religions and the blahs. And furthermore, there's a one-to-one -one correspondence between the versions of Gilgamesh and the religions. And the religions are created, they're coined, uh, in response to beasts as they appear. Uh, 